All right. This is the best moment of the year. I hope you're ready. This is called Cozy Cider Sipping. Ooh, and it's got three whisks! Will I like this? I don't know, but I think it'll be worth the whisk. This is called Life. Look it up. <laughs> ha. Hello everyone! My name is Grace, and welcome to Vlogmas. I'm really excited. I've tried doing Vlogmas uh, each year that I've been living down in Florida. So let's, let's begin with the juicy details. They're not that juicy. So I'm originally from California, and I lived in California up till I was like 10. Then I moved to Tennessee for about eight and a half years. And then I moved down to Florida in three years ago now. So now that you've gotten that all in your brain. So today, friends, I'm gonna be answering some Christmas related questions. And I haven't looked at them. I don't think so let's begin question numero uno what is your favorite or least favorite Christmas song I'm gonna answer both of those my favorite song it's a toss-up um, non-traditional Christmas songs I really like last Christmas by Wham and then I really like uh, the that's what Christmas means to me my love uh, by Stevie Wonder and then my least favorite Christmas song, I know tons of you people will disagree with me, but I've never liked All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey. I don't know, I feel like it's overrated. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Mariah Carey herself. I can totally get that it's a jam, but it just doesn't do Christmas like, Last Christmas I gave you my heart. What? holiday movie or special do you watch over and over and over again? <sighs> I don't think I have a favorite Christmas movie. I did take a quiz, okay, to see which Christmas movie I am. I got Elf. But I really love Charlie Brown Christmas and Frosty the Snowman's always a delight and then uh, The Year Without a Santa Claus or something, right? The the one with the little puppets, or like claymation, you know what I mean? Um, and then, I'm not a romantic person, but I really love cheesy Hallmark romantic movies. They make me so happy because I love <laughs> when movies tell you the plot in the first five minutes and how it's gonna end in five minutes, and the rest is just how is it gonna happen and how cheesy is this movie gonna be? Um, for the next hour and a half, you know what I mean? What is the weirdest slash ugliest Christmas decoration you've ever owned? I think the weirdest Christmas decoration we own, it's been our Christmas tree topper for as long as I can remember. It's this Tinkerbell, but every year she comes back a little more broken. Not just inside, but outside. No, I'm kidding. Um, she's <laughs> got this line. That shows that her head fell off, uh, but we glued it together. Um, her wings are chipped, and just, she's a mess. But aren't we all around Christmas time? Aren't we all? She's a true representation of Christmas, and I really admire her for that. What was Christmas like when you were growing up? It was really fun. We would always go, like, we'd have our own at home, like, our my immediate family Christmas, and then we'd go to my dad's side of the family Christmas, and then my mom's side of the family Christmas. One of my favorite memories is that I, I really love nutcrackers. And every year my family would give my sister and I a special present. And mine would always be a nutcracker. And they would always hide it in the house. And that was always fun. I really love nutcrackers. I think I have like 20 or so. <laughs> I love nutcrackers. What? One thing are you most grateful for this holiday season? My family and friends, because my family uh, are for my friends and my friends are my family. 
I'm just really grateful for the people that I have in my life and just the joy and how everyone can be themselves and it's just everyone has a good time no stress it's just I love I love the people I'm surrounded by if you could travel anywhere for Christmas where would you go so this year my friend Sam is going to Germany and to France and Prague to go to Christmas like uh, uh, markets and Germany sounds like it would be such a good time for Christmas oh my word yes so Germany's my final answer Alex what's your least favorite item on your Christmas to-do list it's it's like mixed feelings I really enjoy Christmas shopping for people but just Trying to figure out what they want for Christmas is really the most difficult part. I don't know if it's just me, but I grew up um, like at Walmart. <laughs> They've got these little Christmas trees that have little children profiles on them, which sounds creepy, but it's cute. I usually get like a small little boy or a small little girl and then an older little girl or older little boy. And it says like their name, their age, uh, what they like and what they want for Christmas their favorite color and blah blah blah. So you go shopping for the little kid and I really love that because you know exactly what they want. Like it bluntly says, I want a Nerf gun or I want a Barbie doll, you know? But like my dad, I bought him literally a car jack for Christmas. <laughs> Would you rather have three feet of snow for Christmas or no snow at all? Um, is this a real question? I may live in Florida. But I love snow. I love seasons, which is ironic because Florida doesn't really have seasons, but I would love snow. Oh, I love snow. It's a good time. Uh, what's your favorite holiday and what's your least favorite? My favorite holiday is Christmas. My least favorite holiday is Valentine's Day. What's your favorite character from a Christmas themed movie, book, or TV special? I love Charlie Brown. And I really love Linus. They're like the best buds anyone could ask for. And they're there for each other. But sometimes Linus is like, yo, Charlie Brown, you're a lame-o. And Charlie Brown's like, I know. <laughs> but they love each other. They're best friends, you know? It's great. What's the best gift you've ever given someone? my presence. No, I'm kidding. I, I don't know. I've, I think I've given some, but honestly, it, I haven't thought of like the present. I've thought of like the expression that they've had whenever they get the present. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you were Santa Claus, what type of cookie would you want to be left out for you on Christmas Eve? Okay. I really love the classic uh, like chocolate chip cookie. That's like just out of the oven. If you break it, it's like, you know what I mean? But I really love, and I love making these, um, lavender lemon cookies. They're so good, they're refreshing, they're very adulty, you know? Uh, words that describe Christmas for you. Cozy, loving, and generous. Final answers. Boom. I hope you know me sufficiently well to go on a crazy Christmas adventure with me. If you disagree with me or have a differing opinion, let me know because we're going to make this a community effort. <laughs> I refuse to go in alone, although I kind of am, but you're watching. So thanks for joining me, y'all, and I can't wait to do this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this every day or every other day, but I'm gonna try my darndest to be consistent. Because like I've said, I've tried this three times. Three times. This is my third time. I'm gonna do it this time. And I'm gonna have a merry, merry Christmas and you're gonna have a merry, merry Christmas as well. So, <laughs> I will see you later.
revoir. Bye. Ooh.